Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Walmart grocery haul. Um, I did do the Walmart grocery pickup again, and I'm going to be 100% real with you guys. I am not that satisfied with this grocery pickup. Um, I will be calling, not to just be a brat and complain about stuff, but I just want to bring awareness to something that really just bothered me whenever I was unloading my groceries. So I will share that with you as well. But anyway, I'm going to go through the grocery haul really quick, and then I'll hop on and chat with you guys for a second. All right, so this is all of the stuff that I got. Um, I'm going to start over here with some of the dinner ideas I have, and then, like, work my way that way. My last grocery haul, I did get some constructive feedback, so I do appreciate that. A lot of you said that you did not like how I, like, jumped around, so I will not do that this time. I will try to, like, stay in line with each product. So, um, starting over here... I ordered the cracked black pepper um, pork tenderloin. They were out, so they substituted with this one, and it was $5.54. Um, this is honestly a lot bigger than it looks whenever it opens because it's, like, suctioned. It makes plenty of meat, and especially if you slice it up and serve it, like, over rice, it's a great, inexpensive meal if you're on a budget. Next thing are these sausages. Once again, this was another substitution. I ordered the beef. Um, but they gave me this kind, so that's okay. I'll use it up. But um, I just like to slice these up, fry them in the frying pan, and serve them over rice, just like kind of how they had, like, right here. They have this as, like, with sauerkraut. I do not like that, so we do rice instead. Um, next thing I got were these shrimp. These are just the raw shrimp peeled and divined. I'm going to um, serve these over rice as well. I got some, where, actually, oh, yeah, stir-fried rice. It's right there. So that will be another meal. We're going to have another really inex inexpensive meal. These are only five bucks for this bag. And if you serve it with rice, it can feed your family. So that's what I like to do. Another dinner I have, we're going to make some sausage gravy for dinner. Um, we don't really like sausage gravy for breakfast anymore. I usually like to make it as a dinner. So I will be making that. And I have a recipe for that on my channel. If you guys are interested in it, I will try to find that video and link it below. Um, I get a lot of questions on my recipes, but really I just kind of throw things together to be honest. I don't really have a set recipe for anything, but the sausage gravy is super easy to make. So I'll leave that in the description box. Also, um, moving up here, I did pick up these walnuts. I like to put these in my yogurt. Um, so I have those right there. I got Caden some toothpaste and I got some body and baby wash for the kids. I like to use the kind that's, um, you know like safe for eczema and sensitive skin. Yeah, that's yours. Go um, eat your waffle, Kaden. But anyway, moving on, I got this blender. The blender we had, I am missing a piece to it. I can't find the lid, so I just went ahead and bought a new one. And this was on rollback for 17 bucks, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, it's just a basic blender. I just wanted one to make smoothies every now and then. We like to have smoothies, so I did grab this big bag of Magic Sensation. Um, fruit, frozen fruit. So we're going to make a smoothie today. To go with that, I got some almond milk, um, just in the vanilla flavor. I actually ordered the other one, and they substituted for that great value. Um, I ordered the actual brand. I don't know what it's called, but that's not the one I ordered, but it's okay. Moving on, I got some instant oatmeal. I told you guys a hundred times this is my favorite oatmeal. I like the small packs. For some reason, the texture is just better. So I got that. I already showed you guys the stir-fried rice. I did get some sweet cream butter unsalted. I honestly really love this butter. It's, I don't know, I just really like it. And it goes a long way, so I grabbed that. Um, I also got some squash and zucchini. A cucumber, that's a cucumber, this is a zucchini. So this will be for one dinner, and then I got the cucumber for a salad, some bell peppers for a meatloaf I was going to make. I actually ordered ground beef, um, and they said they were out of ground beef. So they didn't substitute it or nothing, they just said they were out of ground beef, which I know is not true. Like, what store have you ever been to that was out of ground beef? <laughs> um, so that's like a little frustrating, because I have to go to the store just to buy ground beef now for one of my meals, but it's okay. It's all right. Let's be positive. It's 2020. We made it to another year and that's awesome. So not, not going to be negative. <laughs> anyway, um, got some rice roni beef flavor and the long grain rice. These will be used for this meal. So 
Anyway, I got those. I also got some lettuce, carrots, some grapes, some strawberries. I picked up some spinach. This spinach looks absolutely yeah. terrible. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I am not happy with this pickup order. Whoever picked up, whoever picked out my groceries, was not my favorite. Um, I got some tomatoes, some vanilla yogurt. I got some tuna. We love tuna, so I'm gonna make that for lunches. Caden, please don't do that. I got some potatoes, some apple juice for the kids. A pack of diapers, just a size five. That's the size Caden's in. I also got 100% um, orange juice, some chicken corn chowder. I got two cans of that. Two cans of the mini raviolis, some SpaghettiO and meatballs. I got a huge thing of peanut butter. I feel like we go through peanut butter and jelly so quickly, so I just got a huge thing of peanut butter. And I ordered the big bottle of jelly, but they were out. Okay, and then over here I got this 100% um, beef corn dogs. These are so good, y'all. So, so good. If you like corn dogs, try the State Fair 100% beef kind. It's a game changer. Um, moving on, I got these. I don't even know how you say that name, but we're just going to roll with it. We got some cheeseburger macaroni. I got two of those. Um, two of these fettuccine alfredos. I got one of these Lean Cuisine Fiesta grilled chicken. It looked really good, so I want to try that out. And then for my husband, I got him the steak and roasted potatoes. I also grabbed these whole grain peanut butter crackers just for like on the go snacks. Um, that way I can just throw these in my purse and when the kids like want a treat, they can have something like that instead. So I also got some Nutri-Grain um, Eggo waffles and just a little tip, it's cheaper to buy two boxes than to buy the big box. I just found that out when I went to go order it. It was two fifty. I'm sorry. It was two. What was it? Two fifty for? I don't know. It's cheaper to buy two boxes. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but I did buy two separate boxes of the ten count, and Caden wanted one, so I threw one in the toaster really quick. But that is everything I got. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what happened with my groceries and why I'm just a little disappointed in this pickup grocery haul. Okay, so really quick, I wanted to share with you guys um, something that was a little bothersome for me at Walmart, the Walmart grocery pickup, and I want you guys to let me know down below if this happens to you, and if it does, y'all please, I just, I need to know this. Um, I've noticed that with the Walmart grocery pickup, I have accumulated way more grocery bags than usual. Like, I am really good at bagging. I've been a cashier for many years. I know how to bag groceries, and I'm not wasteful. I don't put, like, one item in a bag unless it's, like, bread um, or eggs. But I noticed that with the grocery pickup, it's, like, whoever's bagging those groceries has never bagged groceries in their life. Um, I feel like they just throw one item in the bag and throw it in their little box. Like, they don't think that how wasteful they're being, if that makes sense. And I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. Don't get me wrong. I'm just just sharing my opinion. Um, that's all. So let me know if that's happened to you. If you guys have realized that there's way more bags than there needs to be, you know? And I feel like Walmart needs to know. They need to, like, get with their employees and bag better, in my opinion, to not be so wasteful. Let's try to save this earth as much as we can. Like, we only get this earth, that's it, and then we're done. So let's try to not be so wasteful. Anyway, um, another thing is... Um, the substitution sometimes, like, I don't mind being, like, it's not even the substitutions. It's telling me that they're out of an item completely <laughs> whenever I know that they're not. You know what I mean? Like, I ordered ground beef, and they just flat out said, sorry, we're out, so we just took it off your order. But you know, and, and you and me both know, <laughs> that there are other substitutions that they could have gave me. Not saying that I deserve a substitution or I want them to give me way more for my money. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that sometimes they'll give me like a $5 ham or I'll order a $5 ham and they'll give me a $20 ham. Um, and it's funny that they'll do that, but then they won't give me like a dollar more for ground beef. I don't know. I don't know why they do that. I don't know if there's certain items they're not allowed to substitute for or something, but I've noticed like the chocolate milk last week and then the ground beef this week. There's other chocolate milks. There's other ground beefs that you could give me. I'm not trying to say that I deserve it for a less than or I don't even care if you substitute it for more. I just want what I want when I make my grocery order. Does that make sense? Um, I hope I'm not like 
coming off bad. I'm not, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just trying to be honest and share my like little bit of frustration with you guys. Another thing this that happened this week that has never happened before, um, I think it was whoever was picking out my groceries. They just were inexperienced, um, either with grocery shopping in general or bagging or just, I don't know. But my um, produce wasn't the best. It has been way better before. And you know what's funny? Is I've been in the store grocery shopping and I see the people that are picking out orders. I see them like shopping, you know. And usually when I see them, they're actually like looking at the item and picking out the best item. They'll put like the crushed box back on the shelf. They don't like give you the worst items, you know. But sometimes you'll make an order and then it will be like terrible. I think it all depends on who is picking your order. I wish that we could choose, you know, I, I like, I know it sounds bad, but I wish I could figure out who gave me my order the very first time and be like, I want that person every single week, you know, but yeah, anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Please check out the description box. It will have the meal plan down below and yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.